It's often best to start a concept off with an understandable example. Let's take the movie industry for our first example and how box office returns are totaled. We're going to go back to the days before SQL Server. I was a young boy back in April 1977 when the movie Star Wars hit the silver screen. Within a week, the news agencies were talking about what a hit this movie appears to be. There were no numbers yet, but evidence was mounting that things were going good. Mostly, the news cameras would drive by the theaters and see long lines of people waiting to see Star Wars. One news agency called the 30 theaters in the USA that showed Star Wars on its opening night to ask about the sales. The theater owners in 29 of the 30 theaters said it was a record weekend for them. That's a pretty good statistic. Well, after months of accounting, the first week and the first month totals were tallied, and this movie would become the biggest hit of all time. It took a team of accountants with ledgers to eventually turn out these totals. Contrast this example to the release of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone back in 2001. On the Monday morning, after the release weekend, the news agencies said this movie made $90 million in the opening weekend. But the weekend ended just a few hours ago. So how did this total come so fast? All of these sales rolled up into a database, and with one single query, a grand total was instantly available. In the last 20 years, what has improved greatly is we can get the information we need instantly from databases. If you know how to talk with SQL and get the information you want, then it will be your best business friend. Like all the databases that came before it, SQL Server does collect information. But the real key is it's a database management system, which means you can get just the information you want out very quickly.